Police in Brussels have shot dead a man suspected of killing two Swedish football fans. It's been revealed the gunman was in Belgium illegally after his asylum application was denied three years ago. It started with a scene of horror. Abdusalam L, unmissable in his orange jacket, shooting dead two Swedish football fans. He then went outside, tended to his rifle and escaped into the night. He left behind two video messages, which quickly appeared over social media channels. One in which he pledges allegiance to Islamic State, and then a later one where he admits the murders and says he targeted people from Sweden. The hunt for him paralysed Brussels, an international football match abandoned, and the killer revealed to be a failed asylum seeker. And then suddenly the end. Abdusalam El cornered in a cafe near his home and shot by police. He had first been spotted on a bus. We spoke to one of the passengers. I was in the bus and the man was at the front. The bus driver saw him and called for support. And he had a weapon in his bag. I was scared. He could have shot me. The terrorist was taken to hospital, soon dying of his injuries. In the space of less than 13 hours, Abdusalam El had killed two people, gone on the run, caused the threat level in this city to be raised to its highest point and had then himself in turn been shot and killed just down the road from where I'm standing. It was a brief period of time, but for Brussels, it was the cause of terrible anxiety. A sense of shock reflected by the murderer's neighbours. The local doctor told me, for me, this man was not a Muslim. He was simply a terrorist. So what did provoke these killings? One theory is that it was fury at Sweden for allowing a Quran to be burnt publicly. It seems that in one of the communications he made, it was indicated that burning the Quran was a red line that should not be crossed. There's no proven connection between these killings and the conflict in the Middle East, but this was the second terror attack in Europe in a few days, following the murder of a teacher in northern France. Abdusalam was caught and shot inside this cafe, one man responsible for causing so much pain and so much fear. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Brussels.